Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss how to solve a knapsack problem using dynamic programming technique. This video is a continuation of previous video. In the previous video, we have solved a knapsack problem using dynamic programming technique up to step 4. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. Next is step 5. So, this is the profit table at the end of step 4. Now, in step 5, we are going to consider the item 3 with weight 3 and profit 20. And this is the recurrence relation. So, here WIJ. And weight of this object is 3. When J is 1, 3. When J is 2, 3. When J is 3, 3. When J is 4, and 3. When J is 5. So, these values we need to calculate. And here if we are considering, these two if we are considering in the sense, this is WI is greater than J. Okay. And these three if you are considering in the sense, WI is less than or equal to J. So, when WI is greater than J in the sense, we have to implement this recurrence relation V of I minus 1 comma J. When WI is less than or equal to J in the sense, we have to implement this recurrence relation max of V of I minus 1 comma J comma V of I minus 1 comma J minus WI plus P. Okay. So, now we need to calculate the profit for each. So, V of I comma J. I is 3. Object is 3. So, V of I comma J is 1. So, V of 3 comma 1 is equal to this recurrence relation. V of I minus 1 is 3 minus 1, 2 comma J is 1. So, V of 2 comma 1, what is the value? Value is 10. So, here we will get a 10. So, V of 3 comma 1 also, the value is 10. Next, 3 comma 2. So, V of I is 3 and J is 2. This recurrence relation, V of I minus 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, J is 2. V of 2 comma 2, what is the value? It is 12. So, here also we will get 12. Okay. Next, 3 recurrence relation, if you are considering in this is 3 is equal to 3. Okay. So, weight is equal to j, these will not weight is less than or equal to j. So, we have to implement this recurrence relation. So, v of i is 3, j is 3 equal to max of v of i minus 1 comma j. So, 3 minus 1 is 2 comma j value is 3 comma v of i minus 1 comma j minus w y. So, V of I minus 1, 3 minus 1, it is 2, comma, J minus WI is 3 minus 3 is 0, we will get it. Okay. Plus profit for item 3 is 20. So, we will get it. V of 2, comma, 3, what is the value? 2, 3. The value is 22. So, max of 22, comma, V of 2 comma 0, what is the value? It is 0. So, 0 plus 20, we will get it as 20 only. So, what is the maximum value? We will get it 22 out of these two. So, here we will get value 22. Okay. Next, weight 3, J is 4. So, V of I is 3 and J is 4 equal to max of V of I minus 1 comma J. I is 3 minus 1, 2. J is 4. Okay. Comma. V of I minus 1 is 2. Comma. J minus WI. It is 1. 4 minus 3. It is 1. Plus profit for item 3 is 20. Okay. So, we will get max of V of 2 comma 4. Value is 22. And 2 comma 1. Value is 10. 10 plus this profit is 20. So, what is the value, maximum value we will get it, 22 or 30. So, 30 is maximum. So, here we will get 30. Next, V of I is 3, J is 5. Okay. So, we will get maximum of V of I minus 1, 3 minus 1, 2, J is 5, comma, V of I minus 1 is 2. J minus WI is 5 minus 3. We will get it as 2. 
plus profit for the item 3 is 20. So we will get it as maximum of B of 2 comma 5 if you are considering in the sense 2 comma 5. It is 22 comma 2 comma 2. V of 2 comma 2. It is 12 plus 10. Okay. Profit for sorry 12 plus 20. Okay. So which one is maximum? We will get it 22 or 32. So 32 is maximum. So here we will get it 32. So now this is the profit table for item 3. Okay. At fifth step. Next step. Step 6. So this is the table at the end of fifth step. Now we are going to consider object 4 with weight 2 and profit is 15. And this is the recurrence relation. So now consider WI, J and here the weight of the fourth object is 2. Okay, 2 when J value is 1, when J value is 2, when J value is 3, when J value is 4 and J value is 5. All these cases we need to find the profit. We are considering in the sense weight is greater than the remaining capacity. Here if weight is greater than the remaining capacity in the sense this is the recurrence relation. And all the remaining cases if we are considering in the sense weight is equal to or less than or the remaining capacity. So here this weight is greater than J and this weight is less than or equal to J. Okay. So, all this remaining cases we have to use this recurrence relation. Okay. So, for the first recurrence relation we have to implement this one. That is V of I value is 4 comma J value is 1 equal to V of I minus 1 comma J. V of 4 minus 1 is 3. J is 1. Okay. So, V of 3 comma 1, what is the value? 10. Okay. So, now here we need to fill 10. That is 4 comma 1 value is 10. That is the profit value is 10. Next. V of I minus 1, 4 comma J equal to this recurrence relation we have to implement. Maximum of V of I comma J that is V of 4 comma 2 equal to maximum of V of I minus 1. I value is 4. 4 minus 1 in the sense 3. 3 comma J value is 2 here. Okay. V of 3 comma 2 comma V of I minus 1 that is 3 comma J minus W I. 2 minus 2 we will get it as 0. Plus PA, profit for this fourth object is value is 15. So, here we will get it as maximum of V of 3, 2, what is the value? 12. 12, V of 3, 0, what is the value? It is 0 plus 15, we will get it as 15. So, which one is maximum? We will get 15. So, here profit is 15. Okay, next up. V of I comma J, 4 comma J value is 3 equal to maximum of V of I minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3 comma J value is also 3 comma V of I minus 1, that is 3 comma J minus W I, 3 minus 2, that is 1 plus 15. So, here we will get maximum of V of 3 comma 3, what is the value? 22 comma v of 3 comma 1 3 comma 1 value is 10 plus 15 okay so here we will get it as 25 so which one is maximum 22 or 25 25 is maximum so here we will get 25 next v of i comma j i is 4 j is 4 okay equal to maximum of V of I minus 1, 4 minus 1, 3, comma J is 4, comma V of I minus 1, 3, J minus W I, 4 minus 2, 2 plus 15 equal to maximum of V of 3, comma 4, value was 3, comma 4, value was 30, okay, comma V of 3, comma 2, 3, comma 2, value was 12 plus 15. So, 12 plus 15, this is 27, this is 30. Which one is maximum? 
30 years maximum. So pure value was 30. Profit earned is 30. Next, B of I is 4, J is 5 equal to maximum of B of I minus 1 that is 3 comma J is 5 comma B of I minus 1 3 J minus W I that is 3. 5 minus 2 is 3 plus 15. So here we will get maximum of B of 3 comma 5 value was 32 comma B of 3 comma 3 value was 22 that is 22 plus 15. Which one is maximum 32 or 37? 37 is maximum. So here we will get the value 37. So this is the profit table at the end of step 6. Now we have considered each and every object and we have computed the total profit. And this is the adjacency table. So now if we are considering in the sense, in this adjacency table, which column earns maximum profit? That is 37. This is the optimal solution. Now, to earn this optimal solution, which are all the objects we have included that we need to find out. Okay. So if you are considering here, there are four objects. What is the combination of objects we have included to earn this maximum profit? That is which are all the objects we have included to earn this maximum profit we need to identify. So here the optimal solution is V of 4 comma 5. So V of 4 comma 5 if you are considering in this sense the optimal solution earned is 37. Obviously here object 4 is included that is item 4 is included then only we have earned this maximum profit. So item 4 is included in the sense this item with weight is 2 and the profit is 15. Okay. So, here profit if you are subtracting in the sense, we will get it as 22. Okay. And the weight of this object. Here if you are considering in the sense, we have included the maximum capacity. That is the maximum capacity is 5. So, 5 minus this object weight is 2. So, the remaining capacity is 3. Okay. So, here if you are considering in the sense, fourth object is included. Okay. That is the meaning. We need to find the remaining items, whichever it is included. Okay. So, to find out the remaining items only, we have subtracted this profit from the optimal solution and also weight from the maximum capacity. So, next step, what we have to do it in the sense. So, this profit 22, when it occurred first, that location we need to identify. So, here if you are considering in essence, this is the location first time this profit is identified. This profit we have calculated. Okay. So, here if you are considering in essence, corresponding item we have included here is 2. Don't consider this one at all. Okay. So, this if you are considering in essence, after including item 2 only, we are considering this one. Okay. So, in this case, if you are considering, it may exclude this item 3. So, this is a reflection of item 2 profit only. Okay. So, whenever you are finding, you need to find the location when that particular profit is earned first. Okay. So, that corresponding object we need to consider. So, if you are considering in the sense, this location is V of 2 comma 3. So, in V of 2 comma 3 location, we have identified and this object is 2. So, already we have included object number 4 and now object number 2 is included and its profit is 22 and the maximum profit earned here is 22. Subtract this second item profit. Second item profit is 10. So, 22 minus 10 in the sense you will get it as 12 and the remaining capacity is 3 minus this item weight is 1. So, 3 minus 1 in the sense 2. Okay. So, here if you are considering in the sense Already object 4 is included. Now object 2 is also included. Next, this is the profit earned. Okay, identify the location when this particular profit is earned first. So if you are identifying in this, this is the location. So all these cases, it is a reflection of this initial profit only. Okay, so here and all, it may exclude this object. Okay, so here if you are considering in this, this location is V of 1, 2. So, 
v of 1 comma 2 we have earned the profit 12 okay and the corresponding object is nothing but 1 so here object number 1 we need to consider and the profit of the first object is 12 okay so here it is 0 and the weight if you are considering in this is this is the remaining weight 2 minus this object weight is 2 so here we got 0 Okay, so this is a reverse process we are identifying which are all the objects we have included in this particular set to earn the maximum profit. Okay, so here if you are considering in the sense object 1 is included, 2 is included and 4 is included. So, the solution here if you are considering in the sense consider the items as x1, x2, x3, x4. Okay, so this is a set. Okay. So, here since it is a 0, 1 knapsack problem, if this particular object is included in the sense, we have to consider it as 1. If it is not included in the sense, we have to consider it as 0. So, here if we are considering object 1 is included, so consider it as 1. Object 2 is included, consider it as 1. Object 3 not included here, so consider it as 0. Object 4, it is included, consider it as 1. And this is the actual solution. Okay. So, x1, x2, x3, x4, it is representing the objects, items. And whether the particular item is included or not, that is represented by 1 or 0. If it is included in the sense, represented by 1. If it is not included in the sense, represented by 0. Okay. So, objects 1, 2 and 4 are included. Okay, and this is the solution. Thank you for watching this video.